Hello Mila, hello Jack. Hello everybody else who's watching. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is called Two Monsters. There was once a monster that lived quietly on the west side of a mountain. On the east side of the mountain lived another monster. Sometimes the monsters spoke together through a hole in the mountain. But they never saw each other. One evening, the first monster called through the hole. Can you see how beautiful it is? Day is departing. Day departing, called back to the second monster. You mean night arriving, you twit. Don't call me a twit, Dumbo, or I get angry, fumed the first monster, and he felt so annoyed that he could hardly sleep. The second monster felt just as irritated, and he slept very badly as well. The next morning, the first monster felt awful after such a bad night. He shouted through the hole, Wake up, you numbskull! Night is leaving. Don't be stupid, you pea brain, answered the second monster. That is day arriving. And with that, he picked up a stone and threw it over the mountain. Rotten shot, you fat ignoramus, called the first monster, as the stone missed him. He picked up a bigger stone and hurled it back. That stone also missed. Hopeless, you hairy, long-nosed nurk, shouted the second monster, and he threw back a rock which knocked off the top of the mountain. You're just a stupid old wind-filled prune, shouted the first monster, as he heaved a boulder that knocked another piece off the mountain. And you're a bandy-legged, soggy cornflake, replied the second monster. This time he kicked a huge rock just for a change. As the day passed, the rocks grew bigger and bigger, and the insults grew longer and longer. Both of the monsters remained untouched, but the mountain was being knocked to pieces. You're an overstuffed, empty-headed, boss-eyed mess, shouted the first monster, as he threw yet another massive boulder. You're a pathetic, addle-brained, smelly, lily-livered custard tart, screamed the second monster, hurling a yet larger rock. That rock finally smashed the last of the mountain, and for the very first time the monsters saw each other. This happened just at the beginning of another sunset. Incredible, said the first monster, putting down the rock he was holding. There's night arriving. You were right. Amazing, gasped the second monster, dropping his boulder. You're right, it is day leaving. They walked to the middle of the mess they had made to watch the arrival of the night and the departure of the day together. That was rather fun, giggled the first monster. Yes, wasn't it, chuckled the second. Pity about the mountain. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.